But to answer your question, uh, dudes have a very hard time with a woman who's addicted to her profession. Maybe you just haven't met the right dude. Maybe. But would I even recognize him? Because all I ever see is uh, an impediment to getting my work done. That makes me sad. Why? Am I missing something? It doesn't stop me from having sex with who I want, when I want. Okay, I'm less sad now. Nothing would ever become of us, Hank. How do you know that? Okay, let's play a little game. Games are fun. Let's pretend for a moment that for us to embark on a sexual relationship isn't completely and utterly inappropriate. Yes, let's. You are aware that said relationship would go horribly awry once you realized I was truly single, unencumbered, free to love you and be with you for the rest of my life. You're right, that is a boner killer. <laughs> We're a lot alike. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I think I like where this is going. No, I'm serious. You're a smart, charming guy. I do like where this is going. With a lot of fucked up, dark shit running through that pretty little head of yours. I can relate. I've just figured out a better way to channel it. That's what the writing's for. But you think you can have it all, right? Dark, swirling chaos and the white picket fence. What if one feeds the other? What if one destroys the other? Sorry, force it happened. Huh? Oh. My balls were just vibrating mm -hmm. the whole evening. Yeah. I didn't know I had a cough. Wow. First time I've heard that. <sighs> oh. I guess a message from behind the white picket fence. How'd you know that? Because you actually smiled for once. Not a smirk. Smile. Uh, maybe we need to check. I gotta go. Of course you do. Go. Uh, I will, um, I will call you when I know something. And, uh, Hank, you might consider smiling more often. <laughs>